Tonight, the UN's highest court ordering Israel to prevent genocidal acts by its forces, but stopping short of calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. South Africa had accused Israel of committing genocide and asked the International Court of Justice to order an end to Israel's war against Hamas. Israel has an inherent right to defend itself. The vile attempt to deny Israel this fundamental right is blatant discrimination against the Jewish state, and it was justly rejected. Danny Denon is a member of Israel's parliament. And the International Court of Justice said there is enough evidence of potential genocide that there is a case to hear. What's your response to that? It was a fake case against Israel about a fake genocide, blaming us for a genocide. Uh, that's an absurd. The judge is highlighting this quote from Israel's defense minister as potential incitement. We are fighting human animals. But also calling on Hamas to immediately release its hostages. The court has no way to enforce its rulings, which come amid a devastating humanitarian crisis. Families waiting for hours for a single bowl of soup. Palestinians hope the ruling will add to international pressure for a ceasefire. It makes it very difficult for this Biden administration to continue to provide cover to Israel. This reaction from the White House. We don't believe that right now a general ceasefire is the best approach. We just have no indication that they are deliberately trying to exterminate the people of Gaza. The White House saying, like the court, it's called on Israel to reduce civilian casualties. The U.S. also halting funding to the U.N. Agency for Palestinian Refugees. Amid allegations, 12 of its staff took part in the Hamas terror attack. The employees have been fired, the U.N. says, and it's launched a full investigation. And the CIA director will meet this weekend with officials from Israel and Qatar, hoping to jumpstart talks on a new hostage deal. Lester? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.